guys, I'm heading off to another no heat call. This one, it looks like the blower is not uh, running, whether it be the blower relay or the motor. I'm not sure yet. We're going to find out. Here's our carrier air handler. See, it's serial number 1191, meaning it was built in 1991, November. And it's still a match system. The original outdoor unit is out there, too. Fan is at the on, but there's no fan. When I took the door off, the fan took off. So I'm going to go to the capacitor and see if it's bad. I'll make two capacitors in one day for the fan batters. We'll see. You can see, YouTubers, we are checking the capacitor. It is 2.4, 2.5 out of 5, which is no good. So I need to see if I have another one in there. I don't know if I do, because I've used two in a row now. We'll see. Our new American-made Trade Po capacitor is in place. Illuminated by my Christmas present light there, which is very nice. I'm going to start the system up and see how that blower reacts. I can't take the blower amperage out the door because it's a replacement motor. You can see the reversing leads right there. But I don't know if I'll be able to see the amperage on it. But we'll be able to see it if it's like 8. Well, no, that's wrong. So we'll start it up and see. I have my carrier amperage whole blank off plate in place. <laughs> so we can get a proper amperage on the blower while it's running. There's, there's a little bit of air escaping around the corners, obviously, but it does a little bit as far as making sure we get a more normal reading. Um, I guess I could use some of my wireless products, but they're in the car, and it's right. All right, we have the amp clamp generally placed on the main wire coming in. Most of this is going to be the blower, obviously, because it's the only thing running since the heat strips aren't running. Uh, there's a little bit of amperage drawn, you know, obviously just some controls, but 99% you know, of that is the blower. 1.7 is not what I would call a high amperage. Again, I can't see the motor amperage, but I know 1.7 is in the ballpark. And what I would be looking for if the motor was going bad would be an extra high amperage, something like three or four amps, or maybe it starts at 1.7 and slowly climbs and then locks up, is what I've noticed in the past. But this one looks like it's good so far. We'll let it run for about five minutes. Then I'll put the system in heating, and if it stops raining, I'll get a refrigerant brush. We are out at the old carrier unit. I have my suction gauge here on the true suction. This runs back to the suction coming to the compressor. A lot of guys were talking about the heat pump hookups. Now, in air conditioning, you know this is your suction line, this is your liquid line. But in heating, this line is still your liquid line, but this is your hot gas line, and it'll have a high pressure just like your liquid line. So you have to go back to the third port, which is usually set off in a different area, or sometimes in between the two valves, to get your suction pressure. So our suction pressure right now is around 55, which uh, sounds pretty good. You know, earlier in the day we had a 45, I thought it was a little low. 55 is a little bit close to where I think it should be. We do have king valves on this carrier. So to get a pressure in on this valve, we're gonna have to crack this valve back open. We crack it open, just a hair. Then we get a pressure on that right there. Looks like we're running around 250. It's going up all the way up to 300. Up to 300. Let's see where she goes. The system's been running for several minutes. We have uh, about a 310, 320 over 60, 60, 65 ish. 60. Uh, a little elevated on the head pressure. I would expect the head pressure in the high 200s on a day like today. It is getting warmer inside. So even if it was up near 300, I wouldn't be too alarmed. I think that's a little bit too high. So more than likely, we need a little bit of cleaning. And probably need to adjust that blower upstairs. But of course, we can't do all that unless people want us to. So the heat is back on. And this is a rental property. I'm going to run that idea by the landlord so he can tell me to don't worry about it. 